multiple teams, but today in particular, Bleed got sent home from the hunt, so making it to TI-12, and now one of these two teams. Staple organizations, you must say as well, in the Southeast Asian region. It's going to be devastating for execration or boom for their fans, the players, the organization. Uh, one of these teams that run will be stopped short now after this series. Yeah, and we see uh, a deep little hook here thrown by Execration as they go around fishing for anyone. And there is a little fish nearby. Naga is sitting, but sitting pretty safely. She got the Watcher as well. So smoke reveal. She's going to see a tree. <laughs> she's going to pop up, take the weight shot, watch her walk away. Very cool. Yeah, just claiming that. And uh, doesn't look like we're going to have too much of a fight. A little bit of a ward check here, making sure the enemy don't have vision by Bob walking in the tower, uh, but didn't get attacked. So knows that they don't have a ward at least right over there. But uh, that doesn't find the ward that Radiant placed. It was deeper across the river with the smoke. Three for one, all right. I'm going to be loving life. Good start for them. Oh, I, and should be a little bit of damage. Pelos able to pump out into Boboko, so we do get to see that support Batrider. But really, Eyes is going to be on this mid lane at the moment. Yopage and Bob Black, we were seeing to kind of start the series. These are uh, two very mechanically gifted mid laners, and they are very confident with their own abilities as well to be able to come out on top in, in these matchups. So let's see how the Spirit Brothers are going to go at it. Yeah, they're going to brawl straight away. The range creep was secured by Bob, but he's taking a bit more damage here from the right clicks of Ember and the slide of Fist. Uh, but yeah, definitely got to keep an eye on who's going to get ahead here and uh, if there can be some potential outplays. But Ember, like I said, should be favored in this matchup. Um, so Bob is the one who has to outperform a little bit. How is your Paj considering about his skill build here in particular with this uh, matchup versus the Earth Spirit? I think you can go zero points Flame Guard in this matchup. He can put a Flame Guard level on level two and then just uh, start maxing Slide of Fist afterwards and uh, get Searing Chains. But I think you can completely omit Flame Guard as well and just rely on Searing and Slide of Fist spam to uh, demolish the Ember or the Earth. Sorry. He's going to go for the Flame Guard. So gets a little bit of uh, creep clear for the second creep wave here, as he has a lot of creeps to kill. So that's the nice thing about the Earth Spirit currently, can always break the Flame Guard early with the Boulder Smash. Uh, let's take a look at some of the other lanes. So top, we already got some shenanigans going on, with uh, some lane pulling from, from Boom, looking to try and avoid this current matchup, like we were saying. Dream Protector along with the Troll World Daddy is going to be a very difficult lane for, for Boom to go up into. So currently looking to avoid that as best as they can. Yeah, it's very tricky. Abeng has to run away here. And actually, there's a level 2 Batrider that could bother a tree in quite a bit here. He's not skilling up anything. Okay, forces the TP. Ooh. Going for the no point uh, sticky napalm. This is pretty standard for support Batriders. You want to get a lot of points in the Flame Break and the Firefly early. I. How do we feel like Batrider matches up versus the Troll? Because I was under the assumption that, like, Cold Batrider was always a very big issue for Troll to play into. Is that still the case as, like, a support Batrider? Mm, uh, I mean, it, it's a bit tricky. It mainly comes down to Troll being uh, on point with using his ulti at the right time. If he holds it too long, the lasso could come in and just seal the deal and get him killed. Uh, Overall, though, I think it's still not too bad for Troll, especially if he gets towards the Aghanims. Getting the Dispel uh, can remove all those Sticky Napalm stacks for himself as well. And then lastly, down to this bottom lane, you know, we said that Execration would be favored up top, and then we thought that bottom boom should, without a doubt, have the advantage, and we're seeing that currently. 12 and 3 compared to the 10 and 2. Visage has always got a, a very strong level 1, but after that, your other spell is not too powerful inside this lane, so... Might be some kill threat, especially we'll see how Natsumi wants to consider about his skill build if he uh, wants a point with that ensnare early on. Yeah, it's very good Good use of the illusions right now, splitting them, putting two on Visage, one on the Dark Willow, and then just auto-attacking away at the Creep Wave, causing a lot of Riptides. So, so far, bottom lane going great, but I really want to highlight that Radiant are doing much better top than they should. 12 and 6 on the Legion, thanks to this early shenanigans that they went for and their harassment onto the Troll by Batrider, they are actually getting out ahead pretty much here on the lane. Troll is ahead in CS, but he has no denies to his name, and Treant only has one deny as well, so a lot of the experience being given here towards Boom.
And we're going to see that potentially frees up a rotation from the supports. Boom actually putting a lot more priority. Bringing both X Nova along with the boat. Oh, Bob is low. He might even hunt for a kill onto Bob. Yo, Paj blocks the roll and uh, where are you going to run now? Boom, boom, supports are here. Lucas <laughs> snipes it. Easy flame for the kill. Yeah, blood grenading it for a kill there. He did leave WS alone top for a little while, so they're trying to do damage to him meanwhile, but that's going to be a good start there. And like I said, this matchup mid, you take a lot of damage against the uh, Emperor Spirit as uh, a Nurse Spirit. It's just pretty rough. We'll, we'll see how difficult that matchup continues to be once the Orb Corrosion's picked up for Yopaj and three points in the slight now as well. Top lane, they might be able to get a return kill onto Baboka. Or can they punch back on Boom? WS continuing to chase... X Nova behind. Willing Axe is being coming in. issue currently. X Nova with a wraparound. Great use of the portal. Palos, second death for the boys on Execration. Shanks looks to try and mirror the movement. Bramble's going to be on the mark onto WS. Another round of the blood grenade as well will secure a return kill but but Boke is starting to stack up the sticky on a bang won't be able to continue to chase though nonetheless though boom getting some huge kills onto cores on the uh, across the map yeah really nice start for them here every core is feeling pretty good about themselves right now in particular the uh, ember spirit of course like we mentioned look at mid already the earth spirit is down to 200 hp here after it came back he tried to fight against the Ember, but Ember put two points in Flame Guard to be able to keep the guard up even against the kick, and uh, he took a lot of damage under Creep Wave due to this. And uh, how far is he now? He's uh, still too far for level 6 here on Ember. Can't really make a surprise play onto the Earth. But there will be that timing where there's level 6 Ember and you just have to be super worried if you're Earth Spirit because he can chase after you. And, and importantly, it's, Ember's going to have probably better rune control at the start for the first one. So maybe if it's a good power rune, that could... Oh no! Even more difficult. Bob, there's no, there's no bounty in there. There's nothing for you. He, he's looking for something. He's thirsty, man. He's got no HP. Oh poor Bobby. Oh Bobby. All right. Well, you, again, you, you leave Shanks from bottom lane as well. So Natsumi is continuing to free farm. Ors are off to a very good start. Let's see if they're going to keep having two supports top from Execration. Maybe they want to start to rotate down to secure the power runes. They need to enable Bob. Yeah, they're sitting around the runes. Baboka are going to find Abeng here. They're going to just kind of brawl at each other a little bit. There's 10 seconds to the rune spawn. Embers throwing the remnant top and going to run bottom. Able to be at both. Don't think they can take top though as Shanks is there too. Might have a kill top lane as well while all this is going on. WS and Palace are going out at Palace. He gets a solo kill, man. Back inside the river we go now. Yo, Paj tries to run the non over. Meanwhile, Baboka almost solo kills a bang. Bob, 13 health currently with a run over the top. Yo, Paj finds another kill for the boys. Oh, he's hiding. And now they're going to be able to catch up the Shanks as well. Great positioning out of the Ember Spirit, ducking behind the trees. A double kill secured early on. And there's still the rune. He did mess up a little bit, not taking the Invis rune bottom. He remnanted up top, didn't realize that the rune did spawn bottom. Uh, Can he kill a bang? I, I think so. He has a remnant. Oh. Throws. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, I think he can still get him. It'll be quick though. Bob's coming nearby. They won't have the damage at the moment. Do they still see him, Shanks? Straight Bramble? Ah, oh, doesn't go for it. Wow, Yopash getting away with so much right now, creating a lot of space for his team as well while doing this. As Natsumi is enjoying life bottom on his Naga. 1v2 or oh, 1v1 here. Why okay, they just denied the wisdom room as well? Oh, the illusion play, yeah. That's a good thing about having Illusion here is Terrorblade and Naga. They have the potential to do this in laning stage. So that's going to be another dent in Execration. They only have level 3 on Willow. Oh no, Bob. He's going to be fine. Or if a defensive magnetize used there to hold them back. Bob's still going to hunt for the kill. The slight spam with all the crew. Got the kick. Starting to really ramp up here, Bob. Kick on the Yopaj, not enough. And now with Baboka here, it's going to be another death three. Oh. Shanks will get a nice snipe. And it looks like X Nova lives on 50 health. But now Bok is here for the cleanup. There's nothing a Bang's going to be able to do. We'll chuck out a Nature's Grass. 
but it will be to no avail as Baboka. I mean, he's also licking his lips, man. He's got he's level five, three zero and one. So this Barrider is going to have a very good time this game as well. Yeah, there's a huge level difference. I mean, level five disruptor and level five and a half Batrider versus the level three, almost four tree and protector. Oh, and then the level four Willow hair. Yeah. And Bob just TP top, tried to get the kill on WS. Roll wasn't able to connect. Somehow they've read it. So his first real big rotation of the game doesn't pay off as well. He's having such a tough time. And with the Batrider taking the power rune as well, you know, you're not getting any any power runes here for the Earth Spirit. And kind of it's the only way back for him after having tough laning stage is to make these rotations. So not finding a kill there or even an assist top is really rough for him. I, I guess the shining light for execration is the fact that Palace is, is free farming and did get that solo kill previously onto WS. You also do have this medallion now completed on Tino, and he's going to be rushing the solo crest, which we'll have shortly. Do you feel like Execration need to start playing around with the Visage, considering he's starting to get kind of his first power spike of the game? I think so. You got a uh, oh boy, Bob mid lane, Bob. Oh man, dude, not again, man. <laughs> yeah, the Searing Chains this time as well. He he just he has to play around Visage, like you said. They need to start enabling their movements here and play towards the one hero is online. Troll just wants to farm, Earth Spirit has nothing, and the supports are underleveled. Like, you need to make plays around Visage right right now. Yesterday, man. Like you said, Troll wants to farm, but he's not going to be given that opportunity. Duel? Lasso back into the duel. They're going to be able to secure the first victory of the game for WS. Now, Palace is still kind of stuck here. The Broom, the Broom bring an extra number just to potentially shut down Palos. Maybe they're just happy with the damage into the tower instead. Yopal's just starting to move top, though. Yeah, they're coming in. They had Glimpse, but lost Vision a little bit there towards the end as the Creep doesn't have the best eyesight. So not going to be able to get him back there for the Ember to maybe chase. Bottom, though, they're trying on to Naga, but she has the song available. It's happening. It's not happening. No. I it would be quite surprised. Natsumi, all right, we'll have to pop the song. And Bob is starting to swing down to bottom. He's going to think otherwise. I mean, it's at least something, you know, the the pressure onto Naga to try and stop her from farming, because right now she's 90 CS minute 10. That's extremely high. She is 31 CS ahead of her counterpart. So doing a fantastic job just farming away. Um, and if you don't do anything about her, the Naga, even though I said Troll is a good matchup against the Naga, she, she is looking to become huge this game. It might just only be the Troll as top lane again. Looking to continue to put the pressure onto Palace's lane. Another dual victory as soon as it's back up. Now, Shanks is going to have the Bedlam to work with. Chucks it over towards Palos, who's continued to hunt down WS, but they're splitting their attention onto two members. They'll at least be able to go back. And that is a streak. Palos, 413 gold's going to be given over to the troll. You are now under assault as you're passed off the back of the haste rune. Look at a swing on top, and uh, what are they going to be able to do to protect him? Maybe a terrorize if it's going to be on the mark, but it's so difficult to connect, especially with how sparse the Opage is. Oh, so clean. In and out of the bramble. Oh, does run back into it now. Uh, yeah, it's not going to matter. Oh, will it? Palos? Okay. Never mind. He jumps away. Meanwhile, the Earth Spirit is moving towards top. They want the WS kill, maybe, but he's not going to be able to find it as he wisely backs away here. Yeah, this... Uh, that was a really nice move by Yopash there for a while, just haste running through the uh, Bramble Maces really cleanly as well. For now though, it still looks to be Boom who are firmly controlling the pace of the game here with the movements that they're making and a lot of it is because of the, the support levels. Like, we're level 4 on Tree and Protector. It's minute 12. He needs this ulti. They need to have this tool available. Give this man a lane to sit and leech experience. He needs mid. Another power rune, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, Ember is controlling everything. And if it's not him, it's his team. Oh, Palos top lane. Oh, he's in a lot of danger now. Battle trying oh, to suck him out of the town. That ulti is not the play. Palos. Dude, this is the one person you would, you would be hoping. Oh, you got the kill. You're able to get them over the finish line. And he got the kill, man, but he can't be dying. You cannot have your troll dying like this. If you are going to win this game, Palos needs to almost go flawless now. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's not the best, but four heroes top at least for him, and he did trade one for one. I know it's not ideal, but I would say that 
it's not something to be too concerned about. He, he's going to be fine. He almost gets his Battle Fury from the gold of the kill as well. And meanwhile, his team can now make a move bottom as TPs are on cooldown from the move top. So now, Naga could be in danger. But it's only the two of them though. They're not connecting with more Visage isn't close enough. Are you... We've been saying it, but you got to start to look to play with, with Tino pretty shortly. He's about to have a drums as well. Mid lane Palos, he wants to go farm over here instead of top. They've still got the glimpse to be able to suck him back in. Palos is forced to try and stand his ground, but the health pool's starting to get dwindled down. Bob's going to be in with a pretty decent magnetize. They also get the glimpse away from Shanks, so making sure there's no numbers advantage for Execration. And looking, no casualties. Looking for a slight there, but couldn't quite get him. No casualties going down, but that's going to be Bob having to run to base again. Now, they're moving two heroes bottom, but I don't see Execration uh, really like harmonizing their heroes in the same way the Boom are doing. They're not getting to connect onto um, Natsumi a single time. Like, they tried twice to go on him, but both times it was just two heroes. They need three or more to bring down this Naga with how free her game has been. She's gigantic, dude. Not only that, uh, this is an incredible blink dagger timing on Baboka. 4 1 3, 34 last hits. He's having such a good start. Higher net worth than the Earth Spirit. Yeah, they prioritized I mean, the him farming a little bit on the Ancients, and that really uh, helped. Or he farmed a big camp while stacking Ancients. So, like you said, this is a super early blink, and it's going to come as a surprise here, bottom, as he makes his move. They're definitely looking for Visage with this one. Try and slow down Tino's gain. Like we were saying, has been able to pick up on farm. Flawless performance. Oh, they could get trolled. Maybe they want to invade into the triangle. Paolos, Static Storm, straight dropped on the dome. Shank's going to do whatever he can. They'll commit the lasso as well to guarantee the kill. Is Execration even going to rotate Bob over? Roll will just be short, and that'll buy enough time for Boom to back off to their half of the map. That is such a clean take. You lose one support. Huh? Jopaj is fine, he's, he's just toying with him a bit here as he has the DD rune. Meanwhile, Legion Commander is farming top. You had five heroes there as Execration, still traded one for one where the carry died for a post five. So overall awful for them. And this means Legion gets time to work towards that blink dagger as well. And once you have double blink, Legion and Batrider, you can really start to see these ganks come in from, uh, from Boom. And the map's gonna be so difficult to play, especially this T1 tower is gonna go down pretty shortly. A bang. I thought your Pasha and Bob are going at it. Yeah, the slight spam. Oh, nice glimpse timing, X Nova! Oh, beautifully done before the roll. I think that pulled him during the roll, so I guess even if you're invulnerable, you can still get pulled by the glimpse uh, for the Earth Spirit roll. Because he was, he was mid-roll there. Wait, we got a duel out as well with the Blade Mail. Palos just gets the ultimate off in our WS as well. He'll be chased down. That is a much-needed kill for Palos, and no one else is nearby to be able to get that finishing blow. Oh, that's so huge. That actually allows him to come back a bit here. He's trying for a kill on Ember as well with the combo. Whoa. Bedlam. Whoa. Oh, my lord. Dying to two supports. Yopash feeding away 800 gold with that death as well. So that was what the supports needed. They were under leveled. Now the two of them get to share a mid hero kill without any pesky core hero to steal their experience as well. So they're actually caught up a bit with this. They're now looking pretty good in experience. Level nine and level eight against the level seven and level 10 Batrider. Well, Batrider is clearing ancients right now. So it's kind of unfair. He's basically a core at this point. But yeah, like you said, the, the level is really important. You can now start to heal up that T1 tower, which I thought wasn't going to happen with the low point. Oh, the glimpse. Armor. Shanks in trouble. Shanks. Gonna, nice injection of gold. Gonna be given over towards Natsumi. Should still be able to chase him down with a Thunderstrike slow. And there we go. One more swipe. Secures it. I like the build as well coming out from Natsumi. We saw the Yasha into Orchid earlier, and I was not a fan of that build on Onaga in previous series. And actually, Disruptor oh. gets the glimpse here on Tino. He's just gonna die. We see the damage output from Naga just shredding into the uh, Visage. Gravekeeper's Cloak very quickly gets dispatched of, and uh, then he just doesn't have any survivability against her. Dude, he's got a four-star from Baboka. 
Are you serious, man? I mean, his net worth is crazy. He's, he's only 600 behind the Legion Commander, but he formed like a five stacked ancient. So uh, yeah, he's he's given a lot of priority. It's very interesting. But Wolka has always been an exciting support player to watch. And they're doing some different stuff. Ah, uh, Bang looking at not Simi, but it could be dangerous for him here. Cautious where he runs. They might actually jump Shanks, but Boka. When I find that opening with the lasso, they've been in a pretty powerful position though on Boom at the triangle. It's going to be very difficult for reinforcements to to find a pathway down to bottom. They're going to jump mid instead, deep under the wards of tier two tower. There's nothing for Boom to fear. Palos going to try and TP in, but the instant response out of the orc is not going to be able to dispel it, nor get the battle trance off in time. A secondary big kill for Boom and. Only WS is going to be the casualty, but Boca will step maybe a little bit too far forward. But Shanks, he's already used his spells. He still has Lasso. Growth. Maybe waiting for Tino to come over, but as soon as they see Tino, dude, they're just going to go to the Visage. What will stop them from going for the third core? Is it? They got Glimpse too. They continue to bleed numbers one by one. They run into the meat grinder as boom. 18 kills at 18 minutes in. Yeah, they're absolutely running away with it here. Playing so clean this game. A lot of it comes down to the mid lane being, you know, so one-sided there with the Ember being a good pick into the Earth Spirit. I think that was a great read. And Yopas just played phenomenally, but you got to give credit to the, the pickoffs as well that they're doing with this Batrider and the uh, Legion Commander. The Naga Siren Orchid there as well, stopping the troll. Like, this is, this is looking rough. I just think Execration haven't played towards the strength of their lineup. Another kill! It is another kill, man! They're, they're lost right now. It's like lost sheep running around on the map. They're just looking for levels, looking for the next key item. Uh, but at this point, the map belongs to Boom, and they have fantastic heroes to punish anyone who oversteps. Like, every single hero they have is able to catch people. Oh, they're not even done. Well, smoke to the front of the T2 tower. Bang's got a great position. That's a duel. Stop this. But it doesn't matter if it's a support. It's going to be a dual victory for WS. 48 damage now for him. Not as high, but it does not matter. With the momentum and the lead that Boomer picked up and instantly off the back of the kill. Look at Yopaj. He is just swarming into the, trying to catch up to the troll. Maybe scout him out, take over a little bit of farm. Just make sure no way is safe for him to farm. I like the adaptation as well in the Ember here. I said that, you know, Embers, they don't like to go for Dispel. A lot of Embers don't. And I've seen a lot of players don't do it even when they should. And here, he actually went for a second item, Yule Scepter, after that Maelstrom. So respecting the fact that there's tons of silence, control, and uh, Yule's is important for him. Oh, we kicked him away. I don't think it's going to matter. Maybe. Yopaj is here with a really nice chains onto two, but Palace is going to be able to enter the fight. Blade Melt does do a decent chunk of damage into Execration. They're going to behind them for the glimpse. Palos held inside the wall. And like you said, with the backstab from Natsumi, this is a perfect angle for the Naga Siren just to tear apart some of the support. It's, it's a one for two, but they can song to go back in if they really want. Yopaj is lacking potentially some mana to work with, but Boka's going to be able oh, to they're stacked. the lasso and just puts food directly on the plate for Natsumi right in front of his face. He is another kill, my good sir. You deserve it. Dude, Pabok is 7, 1, and 8, and he's delivering, literally delivering this game to Natsumi there, who will happily just shred through any hero who gets close to him. They're going to steal the Wisdom Rune as well now. That's another dent into Execration's already injured armor here, and uh, almost full heart now on the Naga. And this early on in the game, you still don't have the tools to deal with a heart Naga. You really don't. I wonder what the probability is. 84%. I'm surprised it is not even higher. Yeah. It's... What a scan. What a read, dude. On the Palos. They know he's farming somewhere. Way around. He did just finish the BKB, though, so he has that. But if he gets blink grabbed by anything, the chain stun is there with duel as well, so. Has to be very careful. Do me. He could song, they're all clumped up. This could be devastating. Oh, they dueled him. Get the jump in first. Oh, that's so good. Troll WS. I'm in the primary target. You couldn't ask for a better initiation, especially with the Blade Mail, man. That is just a perfect way for them to start. And they're going to be rewarded with a couple of supports as well, giving over some freebies. This is just all boom. And uh, is, it, is it even worth just 
the mental fatigue that will go into this game now for Execration, this is looking very difficult to come back from. I think one more lost fight and they're ready to call it. I mean, you don't want to give up early for sure, but this is looking absolutely devastating here. They're getting completely handled. At least it's not a slow, dragged out game, but it is an absolute clubbing here going on as Boom play with intent, going immediately towards towards the Roche, sorry, uh, and meanwhile Yopash keeping an eye on the opponent as well, knowing that Ember, not the most important hero for uh, taking down Roche, he's uh, ready to just be, be a nuisance across the fail instead. He knew. Should, um, I mean, you should have an idea that the, the yeah. neutral creep used the hurricane. You, you would only know that if someone else is nearby. Yeah. And now, well, he's going to get confirmation that there was a person here. It's going to be Opage and X Nova. And they should easily be able to go through the passive and then shortly go through his health pool as well. Bottom lane, they are contesting Roche. I don't think it's really going to matter with the lead that Boom have and not when Bob is in no man's land. He's way too deep. His team wasn't close enough with the troll. They need to play closer. And I don't know, man. The, the big thing about Visage is his power to just go together and use Soul Assumption to destroy early team fights. I feel. But this game, I, I don't know if they have used Visage at all in that way. He's just farming. All they're doing is just trying to build up levels and farm on Visage. I guess he wants to get to the point of Agonims with the with the Solar and the drums, but. You're not going to get there in a, in any form of good shape here as you're just losing everything. I, I, it's some, something's off, and I don't know if it's the, this mid lane going as poorly as what it did completely broke something for Execration because mm -hmm. this is actually a team that plays really well around Visage. A lot of their victories on the international level has been with like Visage Marcy strats or like Visage Luna strats. Even in, in CDPC, a lot of their victories, they, they get them off the back of Tino's Visage. They play very well with this hero. But currently, they, like we said earlier on, they, they didn't touch, they didn't go near him. Yeah, I just feel like when mid lane is that one-sided, then the only thing you can do is try to play around a lane that is active and strong. And Visage is the only one. Troll was wanting to farm. Now Visage again. Can I get caught out here? His team is close, though. That they are, but I mean, what are they going to be able to do? Troll's going to try and hunt the back line. An instant lasso. Puts Palos down into his place. Yours gonna continue to stall it out as well. Is your will assassinate a bang off for the right side of the fight? Now back to Palos we go, but he just can't lock onto Pat Rider. Love you. The book has a BKB man. Dude, this is just devastating. Tino won't even be able to escape as well. The glimpse from X Nova stops him at the buzzer. They kill no one again. No one dies. X Nova, sorry, Boboka is higher net worth than your freaking <laughs> Legion command. He's, he's aiming for the troll now. It's the next one. He's going higher. This this is uh, Boboka. Batrider is just absolutely destroying the game for sure. But that was also just an impossible fight. You get jumped on Visage there. It's not a good start to the fight. They go in, try to tree and ulti the Ember, but... He didn't even need to use, he had an illusion rune ready, so he just dispelled that immediately. Shake it off like it's nothing. 22k gold lead now. And I'm at the, you know, at the phase where this game is definitely drawing dead. So they need to start thinking about what went wrong and what they can do in the next series already. Because coming back from this is going to be near impossible. If a gem, how did they read that? Excuse me? I think he walked close enough. They, they had a sentry on the high ground, right? So uh, didn't they see him for a little bit? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, I didn't say the sentry there. <laughs> okay, never mind. Yeah. Uh, he, he just barely stepped in, in vision for a little bit there between the trees. But that's going to be another takedown. <laughs> he's got a butterfly on that TV. <laughs> like, what? Yeah, he's, he's absolutely ready to just end the game here. Two minutes on the ages. He's going to stay on this high ground and keep hitting buildings until something happens to him and i don't know if there's anything they can do their initiation is not that great on the side of execration this is just the agonims this is what they've been you know the the hopium they've been needing the entire game here is the visage agonims to try and make plays but it's more of a pick off agonims it doesn't do yeah. that great when the enemy team is already balled up on your high ground you're probably going to try and hope that, you know, Bob is farming uh, some creeps to get towards his BKB, so this is now completed. He's also got another item. They, I believe, got a glimpse of Palos taping back.
But Boca tries to jump in. Oh, uh, oh. it's gonna glimpse him away. No. He, cool. He could BKB to stay, but then he doesn't have BKB for fighting, so he's just out. The wraparound play now, they're smoking around together with the Visage over on the side of Willow. It's a... They're gonna pincer from either side. Looks like Bob's going from the north, smoke does pop. And now it means he's just completely isolated from the team. He can pop his first round of the BKB, but that's where the Jewel's gonna be able to come into play as well. Can they get in front of him? Nice body block out of WS and Yopai. So get the kill onto Bob. Off for the other side, Tino is able to get rid of X Nova. So finally, kill goes the way of X Secretion. But it looks like it's a little bit too late, unfortunate for them. Natsumi's holding the troll inside the base. So again, this means that Tino has no one else to play with. This is just an absolute masterclass performance from Boom. Yeah, Boom coming in here looking so ready for this series. Just absolutely fantastic gameplay from start to finish. The laning stage went better than you could ever expect here. The bottom lane, that Naga versus Visage matchup was really good. But the top lane is the impressive part to me. Because that was the one lane I didn't think they had an edge. And the way they manipulated Creep Wave, the way they pulled it, and how cleanly they executed on it, helped them actually get a good start against the troll even. And this is the final Rax. Go for it. Bob's gonna try and make the attempt, but the Magnetize, they'll get a buyback out of Tino as well. Or attention on the Yopaj. He's out. But a beautiful slide timing. And now he's even gonna go back in with a Remnant. Doesn't have too much mana to work with. Bob, duel. Bob, another duel victory up to 170 now. Ooh, that is a lot of dual damage in 28 minutes, man. This Legion is basically getting dual damage off cooldown. Now they're going in, dropping some sentries. Dude, x Nova has Scepter as well. <laughs> All right. And no, it'll be for you. To work with on Troll, and yeah, finally they're gonna call it. Uh, this is just, this is not the execration we were coming to expect in this series in particular. They're gonna have to go back to the drawing board because Boom just. Uh, just